it's Mona here at Craft Clutch and it is Friday and that means it's another Coaster Friday. <laughs> Halloween's gonna creep up on us pretty quick so I wanted to get some coasters done. Somebody had suggested to do a spider coaster and I had actually had three planned for this week. So this is not just gonna be one coaster Friday, it's gonna be three coasters this Friday and they're all gonna be spider coasters. So let's get started. I have my mold and it's a silicone mold and I had somebody ask me how it's holding up. It's holding up great. I don't put any mold release in it or anything. Um, this one's discoloring a little bit but it's not affecting it at all. Nothing is sticking. And I have three different kinds of spiders. I have one very glittery spider and I think I'm going to put a couple of dots, red dots on the eyes to make them look a little more menacing. And then I have these that came in a package and they're kind of medium sized spiders and then I have these left over from last year they're these little spider clips and they're these little kind of wiry looking spiders so those are the three spiders I'm going to be working with and I am using my resin which is the easy cast resin and if you want more information on that you can go to their website at www.eti-usa.com and they will let you know where it's available within the US, Canada and internationally and you can buy it at Michael's Hobby Lobby and online and I know Resin Obsession carries it so you can go over their website too resinobsession.com and I have prepared it according to the package directions and what I plan on doing is I have a couple of different cups I'm going to do a glitter background on two of them and then I'm going to do just a plain black background on another so what my plan is, is I'm going to pour some into one of the cups and I have extra little stir sticks and I'm doing it this way so that if I sprinkle the glitter into here when I have the resin in, it'll get everywhere. So my plan is to move over to the side, pour some glitter in, mix it up, and then I'm going to pour it into the mold. And this should cover pretty nicely. If you need more glitter, you can always sprinkle a little extra on there. And then I'm going to do another one with orange glitter that I have. And I'll pour that into the next one. And then the last one, I'm just going to pour this remaining resin in there. Now I'm going to let this sit until tomorrow morning, so roughly 12 hours or so. and then I will move on to the next step of all of these. Okay, I am back and this is all dry and now I'm gonna be doing a little spider web on there. And I'm gonna do it actually on all three of them and I have this gray metallic fabric paint and I also have white paint. So I'm going to do those and they're kind of more of a dimensional paint and I'm going to kind of draw a spider web. And I'm going to do this silver gray. And I'm not very good at spider webs, so. And I'll kind of just connect it in. And there's the spider web on the purple. And I'm going to do the gray on the orange as well, and then I'm going to do a white on the clear. Okay, then we will let the paint dry and we will come back. I'm back and all I'm going to do now is I'm going to glue the spiders into the various molds. And I'm going to use just a quick crazy glue and I'm going to do that just because then it will be quicker for me to be able to move on to the next step. And the reason I'm doing glue is just so that it all stays in place the way it's supposed to and nothing's going to float. So I'll do that and then we'll come back. I'm back to put the next layer of resin on my coasters, on my spiders. They're all set so all I'm going to do is pour it on and then I'm going to make sure that I don't have any air bubbles. But there's nothing unusual that we're doing here. Do that and then we will come back after 12 hours and see how it all turned out. We're back to unmold the coasters and here is the first one. That's with all the little spiders and that's when I did the white paint so you can kind of see that on the back and on the front. Here's my big one. With the orange glitter behind it and that was the gray, 
the metallic gray paint. And here is the last one. And that is the purple one with all of these other spiders on there. And that was also the gray metallic paint on there for the spider web. And these are, these two are just the glitter on the back. And this one you can see the front and the back. So I hope you like them. Hope you give them a try. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. And we will see you next time, guys. Stop by my website at www.craftclutch.com for directions for this and all my other crafts. And we will definitely see you next time. Happy crafting.